If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in how to improve performance using notes, specifically using titles in notes. My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur, and I've created the next generation note-taking and planning technique, Smart Wisdom. For the past 20 years, I've been helping people to manage information more effectively. So I've prepared for this, uh, this short video, and here is my plan just to make sure that what I give you hopefully is quite in a logical format. So I'm going to talk about something that seems really simple, yet in its own little way is quite powerful. And that is putting good titles on the top of your notes. Now I come from a position where I never bothered doing it, or if I did do it, it was a bit haphazard. So I would go back to information in the past and I couldn't find it. You know, I'd be flicking through pages and I just couldn't find it. Now, that was okay if I had plenty of time, but more often than not, the time I wanted it was the time I was under pressure. And I'd get to a point where I'd be so frustrated, I'd have to, ugh, sometimes I'd just leave it. So I started consciously thinking, well, what is the key information that I need on top of each page, you know, when I'm, when I'm working? And it came down to about uh, four or five things. So here they are. And I would always do them in red. So before I go into say a client or a colleague meeting, I'll put this information down in a very specific place and in red. And I'll explain why red a bit later on. So it's very simple. I would put, uh, first of all, I would put the name of the key person that I was seeing or the key person in that meeting. So the name I would put first. Then I would put in uh, the title that, usually just using one word, of what the meeting is about. So it could be about, say, in this instance, it could be about risk. And then I would put in the, the date. Now, particularly if I'm going to see uh, clients, say, in another location, another piece of information I found that was really helpful was actually putting in the location of where I was meeting people, because that very helped, very quickly helped me sort of jog my memory. So, for example, we'll say that this person was in Manchester. And then there was one other piece of information I would put in, and again, it was it was really around sort of convenience and particularly at a time when I'm under pressure and that's so for example I go and see a client um, and I want to quickly get their phone number and I might not have it already in my in my mobile so I'd actually write the number up in here so very very simple there was something else that I did over time, um, and again, for me as an information athlete, it's all about speed, about efficiency, about professionalism, giving more value. So when I was uh, designing, just got an example here. So when I was designing the Smart Wisdom notebooks, the knowledge books, I actually designed into them specific uh, boxes for this information. So. You might not be able to see it in too much detail, but uh, here is the date, here is the what the meeting's about, and here is a box for the person's name. So why is this so powerful? Well, it's powerful on a number of levels. So if you're working with people, whether it's a client or a colleague, this here is very powerful. Because when you sit down, if they happen to see your, uh, your notebook, or for ourselves, our knowledge book, and they see their name, it's a way of just saying that that person is important. And when I see my name somewhere, I feel, hmm, they're taking this seriously. So a little, a little sort of feature which makes a difference. The next thing, which is really, really practical, it means you can find the information, the knowledge from previous meetings really quickly. And the beautiful thing is you can do it 
real time. So if you're in a meeting, if you're in an interview, if you're running a coaching session, you can quickly go back and find other information very, very fast. And that's all about professionalism and it's all about adding value. Now, why does this give you a competitive advantage over other people managing information? Well, people listening, they haven't got a chance. So people listening cannot even go back probably more than 48 hours to information from the past. They might remember one or two things, but the detail, no. And things like date, locations, um, very, very difficult. So you've got a competitive edge over them. People who are note-taking, what I would say if you're note-taking using traditional school note-taking, please, please do use this system. It'll make a big difference. I mean, my advice to you is try and keep everything in a, in a consistent uh, place on each of your pages. For laptop users, again, you're at a disadvantage, unfortunately, because even if you do this, people aren't gonna see it. So when you open up, I mean, this is one disadvantage. Um, you know, if you have that information there, I'm just trying to think, you'll probably, I mean, you're not, unlike a note taker, you're gonna search by, by files, so that helps you. But you lose one of the advantages of a note taker in that the second you open up your, your laptop and you put a screen up, your client or your colleague, they can't even see what you're doing. So that little feature of having someone's name to help them make them feel good or important, you just can't do it. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's a very, very simple way of how to use note taking to improve productivity, specifically by using titles. And, uh, but, you know, quick and easy to do, quick and easy results. If you've liked this, then please do put like, um, please feel free to comment and also share with clients and colleagues. Maybe those colleagues who aren't that good at finding information from previous meetings. I'd like to thank you very much for watching this and I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. Thank you. Ah, oh, one final thing. Uh, if you'd like some more tips on how to manage information effectively, then somewhere around this video, you should find a link um, where you can download some top tips how to manage information more effectively. Thank you very much.